Hi guys, Mike Stoll here. I've got some results of my GoPro caving helmet configuration here. As you can tell on my my helmet, I have a GoPro Hero 2 and over here I have a Magic Shine MJ872 which puts out around 1600 lumens on high. And what you may or may not be able to see here is I drilled a hole into the side of the GoPro casing and I've got an external microphone hooked into it and it's clipped right here. This is an Olympus ME51SW. <clears throat> I put an ex external microphone on here because when the GoPro is in the case the audio is very muffled and you can't hear any people talking or a uh, very good ambient sound within the cave so um, put this Olympus on here and since it's underneath the mounting for this light it protects the uh, microphone from uh, water dropping down from the ceiling or whatever and it actually turned out to be a pretty good idea. Now I'm going to show you some video of uh, what I shot and you can take a look and see how well the camera did and then I'll come back and give you some lessons learned and some of my own opinions on how to improve this the operation of this rig on my next trip. Enjoy the video. Hi guys. Oh hi. Which which way are you guys going? No, our, the rest of it is coming. Oh, um, you, if you keep going, you should be able to see, um, and you turn around, to, um, there's a slippery part. If you start walking up the slippery part. It's taller over here. You should be able to walk across dry. Well, if you can do it, I can definitely do it. Um, Jake, if I can do it, you can do it. Say, Jake, I'm not a good reference because I'm one of the most flexible people I know. No, I mean, like, look yeah. how, how short I am. Your hands I'm are going to be soaked, though. I'm big. Oh, mine are. Let's see. Which one's which? Look at that light! Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. And then we can lock it. Hey, Nick. Woo! Oh, jeez. Oh, 
This is awesome. What do you mean by that? Did you go through the, pipe, the squeezy? Yeah. Well, we all did because the other troop was coming out and they were coming down the non squeezy way and we just assumed that that was looping back around. And uh, there were a couple of guys that were having some trouble, so we lost six of them. They went back. Sean, take them on out. Go, go through that passage and take your first left. Your big left. Where'd you climb? You'd have to climb over the top of that. And you can roll over it if you want. I hear a lot of heavy breathing. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I'm awake. Fun. Once he was up, he could have pulled me up. Yeah. And that would have been good. Jake, I'm not that strong. <laughs> yeah, good. I'm pushing my muscles right now. I'm a big person, you know. Advantage just to being light. Now, when it looks like that passage ends, just wait for us. Yeah. Okay. Everyone's doing excellent. Is this like good for? I I put my butt here yeah, and push off there. against that wall. Whenever you can like move that way, that's good. There we go. Now you're cooking. He's cooking with gas. Cooking with gas. Okay, so what happens here, guys? You push your feet against the wall opposite and you put your back against the wall opposite. Good job. Have you done this oh, at least ten. Yeah. You seem pretty familiar. You get easier. Uh, Just take your time. Take your time. I'll help you around this corner here.
I don't remember how we got up here. There's a quick way down. Yeah. Is it a painful way? It could be, depending on how you land and what you hit on the way down. Okay. Is there an easy way out from there? I don't know. Oh, you never try it that way? No. Okay, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed watching some of those shots. Now we're going to get into what I call lessons learned from my trip. Probably the first thing I'm going to do is use an LCD, a screen that is going to pop in right in the back of that. The reason I'm going to use that is uh, you can adjust the light settings on this magic, magic shine, but sometimes it's difficult to determine whether you've got enough light or not. And in some of the video, uh, I didn't quite have the right light, so some of the shots looked dark and pixelated, while other ones looked a little uh, overexposed. Another thing I learned is I tried to start this GoPro while the helmet was still on my head and uh, shoot some video, but these buttons, they're kind of hard to push. And I ended up taking about eight or nine different still shots as opposed to shooting video, which was rather surprising. So I think what I'm gonna do again on the next time is when I'm ready to shoot some video, I'm gonna take the helmet off and make sure I push the right buttons and get the video moving right as opposed to taking still shots. Uh, another thing I learned is I was underground for about five hours and ran out of juice on my GoPro, so no more video. Obviously the solution to that is to buy an extra uh, battery and looked around Amazon you can get I think two spare batteries and a, a wall charger for like 24 bucks which is a pretty good deal so I'm gonna go ahead and order those that way I won't worry about running out of uh, battery power for my GoPro which kinda stunk so thanks for watching it we'll talk to you later bye